I will be addressing uh, infections in immunocompromised host and the objectives of this lecture would be number one to define and identify an immunocompromised host. More importantly understand the challenges in identifying infections in the immunocompromised host. In general understanding the epidemiology of infections in the immunocompromised host and also learn the general strategies for management of infections in these immunocompromised patients and develop an approach in managing patients particularly with febrile neutropenia. Now when we say immunocompromised host, we should remember that immunocompromisation may be congenital or acquired, but in this lecture I will be focusing only on acquired immunocompromised status in some host and this can happen due to a variety of reasons. One it could be from alterations in any of the factors that assist with immunity, whether it is the phagocytic component, cellular immunity or humoral immunity which can increase the risk of infectious complications in these patients or it could be an alteration in the skin or mucosal barriers that may permit the microorganisms and lead to either a local infection or a systemic infection. Now what are the various reasons why someone could develop an acquired immunosuppression? Now the first thing we should remember is that there are several infections particularly the chronic ones that could by themselves lead to an immunosuppressed states. Although we often think about the human immunodeficiency virus the HIV or the AIDS we must remember that there are several other viral infections like hepatitis, herpes, some other bacterial infections particularly the chronic bacterial infections including tuberculosis and parasitic infections that could lead to a state of immunosuppression which predisposes the patients to other infections. Secondly not to forget malignancies and when I say malignancies I mean both the disease by itself which could be the lymphomas, leukemias, myeloma, solid tumors any of the malignancies but we should also remember that it is not just the disease but the treatment the chemotherapy could also lead to a state of immunosuppression. Now the more important chronic diseases that we all deal with are disorders of biochemical homeostasis although it sounds fancy I mean any disorders in metabolism or changes in our body which could include diabetes which is rampant in our country uh, we are one of the capitals in the world diabetic capital in the world chronic kidney disease chronic liver disease any state of malnutrition Thank you.